Hey book folks, my name is Ariel and welcome back or welcome to A Cup of Books. Today I am going to be doing part two of my, what I am affectionately calling my nostalgia book haul. So if you missed part one, I recently went home to visit my family and while I was there I went through my childhood bedroom and went through my books and as a result I have some very full tubs of books. So, this is going to be very impromptu. I don't remember what's in this tub. I think the majority of the ones in here are ones that I have actually read, so that'll make it a little bit easier than the first one, which I will have linked down below if you're interested in checking that out. But I'm just gonna put this on the floor in front of me and start pulling out some books, and we're gonna talk through it. There's a lot of books that I felt like I had just never seen on booktube, but I remember reading them and really liking them, and I'm hoping eventually to do kind of a series of vlogs around some of them, not all, because there's a lot here, um, where I just kind of reread them and sort of see if they hold up, if it's something that I would recommend, if it's something that maybe everybody should know about. So, without further ado, Let's open up this tub. <laughs> All right, so the first couple of books that I pulled out are a series called the Song and Sword series. If I remember correctly, this follows a half elf. Maybe she's full elf. I remember really loving this first book. So this was written by Elaine Cunningham. Um, like I said, it's a fantasy book series from the Forgotten Realms series. If you're not familiar with Forgotten Realms, that's where I think like a lot of R.A. Salvatore's books fall, um, who's another big fantasy author. And in this one, it says, oh, it's actually blurred by R.A. Salvatore. I planned that. Totally, totally planned that. Anyways. So it says, Silent Death stalks the Harpers of Faerun. One by one, members of the semi-secret society for good in the realms are following to a murderer's blade. Now a Harper agent and a beautiful half-elf, aha, I was right, it was a half-elf, I'm brilliant. Half-elf assassin must solve the mystery. If they fail, they will be the next victims. But in the things in the realms are rarely that simple. I distinctly remember reading this book, and I feel like, I don't actually know if this is a four book series or not, but I just remember reading this book a couple times and I think I read the rest of the series a couple times as well. If the bindings of these books are any indication, I very much love these books. But yeah, this is definitely one I think I will do a reading vlog for because like I said, I distinctly remember liking this series a lot. So yeah, Song and Sword by Elaine Cunningham. So for the next one, I'm actually going to hold up two different series because they're both written by the same author. And this is an author that I actually feel like is very, very underrated. And that is Jane Linksgold. The first series is one called, I think it's called the Firekeeper series or Fire, Fire something. I'm going to stop struggling through that. And then this other one is actually called the, oh my God, it has something to do with like the Zodiac. It's called, of course you're not going to tell me what it's called. I will find it. I will look it up. I will put it in the description. But this series I remember because it actually centers on the Zodiac and also playing Mahjong. I think it might be called the Breaking the Wall series because of the references to Mahjong. But this book was really cool. Each of the characters actually inhabits, like embodies one of the animals from the Zodiac. And I think they have powers associated with that. I don't know if this series was ever finished. I know I've read three of the books, this being the third, the first one, 13 Orphans. Um, I just remember it was really, really good and really interesting. Yeah, I also just really like Jane Lingsold. And this other series, has to do with someone like I think there's a girl in it who's raised by wolves and like gets found and sort of has to be reacclimated to society um so it's almost like a jungle book type feeling and oh the character's name is firekeeper 
Okay, so maybe it is called the Firekeeper Saga. This is a series I never actually finished, much to my disappointment, because again, I remember really liking this one. Um, and I think like part of it is that the girl who's been sort of living with a family of wolves might be like the lost heir to a throne. We're gonna go with that. That's what I remember. Like I said, I actually read these ones. If you haven't read Jane Link's Gold, I highly recommend checking her out. She has a lot of books out there. She's, I feel like an OG fan, female fantasy author. So I definitely recommend checking her out. I don't know if these hold up. They could be problematic. I can see this one maybe being a little problematic because of the Zodiac stuff, but definitely at least worth checking out. So the next books that I pulled out, I actually referenced in the first haul because I picked up a different book series by that author, which I don't think I had read. And that is the Black Magician Trilogy by Trita Canavana. I read these years ago. And this is the series that all of a sudden just like started appearing on booktube. And I was like, whoa, that's a blast from the past. I remember really liking this series. It's kind of a classic girl figures out she has magic and then has to learn how to control it to save the world sort of thing. Um, I remember the characters being really interesting. I remember there being some really interesting relationships. I do remember having a problem with one of the relationships in this and I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to spoil it and maybe I had a problem then, maybe I won't now, but I do remember having an issue with it. And I don't remember if it was because I found it problematic or if it was just I didn't like how it went, which is entirely possible. But definitely been seeing these books around. I love these old covers. I just think they're really great. So I was really excited that I still had all three of them. But yeah, might do a reading vlog around these ones. So, so far we're looking at doing the Song and Swords ones and Black Magicians trilogy. I don't know if I'll just do like the first book in the series and maybe do the rest if I like it, but we shall see. The next one is actually one I vividly remember loving. And I would recommend this series if you're like into Game of Thrones. And that is the... Oh, what is this series called? I told you this is impromptu. I'm totally not prepared, but it's a trilogy. And I believe it starts with this first book, Portrait Stuconis. And it's written by Michael A. Stackpole, who if you're someone who reads a lot of the like Star Wars novels, like the older Star Wars novels, I think he wrote an entire series about the X-Wing pilots, specifically about Wedge and Tilly's. Could be, I could be making that up, but... Um, Oh, apparently this isn't the first one. Wait. The Dark Glory War. Did I miss a book in this series? I thought this was a trilogy, but I'm beginning to think maybe... Okay, so either the series is called The Dark Glory War or I missed a book. I'm going to have to look that up. One of the things I really liked about this is this character who's illustrated on the front. She's a badass. And if you haven't figured out something by now, I love my badass heroines. I should do a video on my favorite badass heroines. I'm going to write that down for later. But so this series by Michael Stackpole was just one that I remember really liking. Um, and yeah, I feel like if you're into Game of Thrones, this might be one worth checking out. I don't think it's considered grimdark, but I mean, it's a, like epic fantasy war story. So... There you go. So the next one I have is another Jane Link Skull book. And this is one where I am missing book one because I lent it to someone and never got it back. And now the book is out of print. That is so sad. If you ever see a book called The Changer by Jane Link Skull, grab it. I will buy it off of you. But this is from a series called The Athenor, and it's a mythology, folktale, fairy tale, reimagining. Like one of the characters is supposed to be simultaneously King Arthur, Zeus, Odin. Like he's just like, it's almost the idea is like one sort of being is kind of represented across mythology. It was really cool. Um, and I know one of the main characters is Coyote from indigenous mythology. And so I love a Coyote story. I don't really remember the second book. I remember the first book more. Um, I know it kind of centers around Coyote and his daughter who is like actually a coyote, but because of who he is, has now 
kind of taken on magic. There's some weird stuff going on. One of the things I also remember is there's a female heroine in it who is supposed to be the Lady of the Lake and Athena. And I loved the idea of combining those two characters and she vividly sticks out in my brain. So if I can find the first book, I will definitely reread this series. Okay, now I'm just sad about the fact that I lost book one. This is why I don't lend books out except to very specific people now. I learned my lesson. But again, another Jane Link's Gold book. I have quite a few books by, from her. I think I have another one somewhere possibly on this bookshelf behind me. But yeah, she's a really good writer. The next one is actually a series that I remember as well because it was very different from anything I had ever read. And I think it's a six book series. I feel like I'm missing one. But it's the Glass Rites series. I don't know if it's called the Glass Rites Saga or something, but it centers on, and it's written by Mindy L. Klasky, which again is kind of someone who has been writing fantasy books for a long time. But I remember this one centers around a young woman who is like learning how to make like stained glass windows and like I think even maybe some glass blood, but she's a glass right. And this is a society that is very much focused on having specific trades, like there's guilds centered around the trades and you sort of answer to the guild. And I forget what happens, but someone kind of goes after the glass rights and she escapes, which kind of comes back to bite her in the ass later. But um, I just remember this series, I, I remember a particular part of one of the later books very vividly because it was just a really interesting like callback to something that had happened in the first book. This is one I would definitely do a reading vlog around just because I did like it a lot back then. Again, I'd be interested to see if it holds up, but again, I'd probably start with the first one and I don't even think I'm holding them up in the right order, but I'm pretty sure Glass Rites Apprentice is the first one. So I would definitely recommend checking this out or stay tuned for a future review. And the last series that I have in here is actually one that I remember reading and I'm not sure if I'll actually reread this one because A, I'm missing I think I'm missing like five of the books. This series was a long one. And I also remember the further I got in the story, the angrier I got with some of the plot developments. But the first book is called The Wayfarer Redemption by Sarah Douglas. This is a fantasy, epic fantasy romance. And I mean, there is some steaminess in these books from what I remember. Um, I really liked the first one. I don't have the second, oh, I do have the second one. Have the second one, third, fourth, I'm missing four, missing three? I'm missing some. But I remember really liking the beginning of the series and then just as it went on, I liked it less and less. But I mean, like, look at these covers. Like how classic, like 80s to 90s fantasy are these? I just like, what is she even wearing? What is this? It's like a gossamer gown with like armor on it. This one, she's in like a chainmail bikini. I mean, simultaneously hate it and simultaneously love it. But I don't remember much about this series. I think, again, it kind of deals with like mythology in the sense that like, I think some of the gods have like disappeared and they're sort of reappearing. And I just remembered a major plot point that I'm not going to say because that would be a massive spoiler. Okay, maybe I will reread this. I don't know. I'm on the fence. Like I said, I remember not liking this as much as it went on, but I also could be confusing it with the series called by um, Elizabeth Hayden called like Rhapsody. I know both of those series eventually had things that, I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna have to just reread if I can't remember specifically what it is. So that actually wraps up that tub. I thought there was more in here than there was. And I think it's just that these are actually books where I have the majority of the series minus one or two. So yeah. These are ones that I definitely remember reading. So I'm definitely looking forward to rereading and seeing like if I remember things correctly or if I'm confusing books. But I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, leave a little sun emoji because, you know, sun is setting on summer and I'm happy about it. No offense to my summer friends, but give me fall. I just want fall. That's why I'm wearing my Bury Me Next to My TBR sweatshirt, which by the way, is from a company called Hello Lovely. They're wonderful. Give them a check out. But that about wraps it up for me. I will see you in the next one.